Hello everyone. In this video, we are going to discuss about linear search. We are going to see what is a linear search, the linear search algorithm along with a Java program. So first you are going to see the points to be noted in linear search. Yeah, the linear search is also known as sequential search. The, it begins a search from the start of the array. So you will have a list of array elements and you are going to have a search value. You are going to start uh, searching from the first element and then you are going to go on. The process continues one after another until the end of the array. So you are going to keep on uh, searching for the search value uh, from the beginning in sequential order till the end. Okay. So if, uh, if the match found, okay, you suppose the match found in between, then you are going to display a relevant message. Okay. That is the match is successful uh, or the search is successful. Suppose if the, you did not find the element throughout, then you are going to display a relevant message. That is the match is, uh, the uh, element is uh, not found. Okay. Match uh, or you can say search unsuccessful. So now you are going to see uh, the linear search algorithm. Now here you can see in the uh, list of array elements are given. Okay, you can see uh, some numbers which is given in boxes are nothing but the array elements. Okay, these boxes uh, represent the uh, array and on top you can see uh, it is nothing but the uh, index values or you can see position values of the array. So it starts from 0 and goes on 1, 2, 3, 4 till 9. Since you have 10 numbers here, it will be from the position value will be uh, from 0 to 9. Now you are going to search for a number. So you are going to search for a value. Okay, search value for instance it is 20. Okay, so how to start is you are going to start with the first element. Okay, so here you can see the position value is 0. That means uh, suppose if the array variable is ARR, the position value is 0, uh, which will be compared uh, that is using an equal to operator, you are going to compare it with the value which is going to be searched uh, that is 20. Okay, so you can see 12 equal to equal to 20. So you're going to check it. Okay, so since it is uh, not equal, you will get, you will get a false response. You will go on to the next value. So it goes on in sequential order. So the next value is stored in error of 1, which is equal to value. That means 5 equal to equal to 20, which is again not equal. So it moves on to the next element that is uh, error of 2. Okay, position value is 2. Uh, the element stored is 10. Okay, which are again not equal to 20. So it goes on to the next one. Next element is error of 3. Okay, which is compared with the value. So 15 equal to equal to 20. Again, it is not equal. So it moves on to the next element. That is error of 4. Okay, that uh, the value stored inside is 31. Which is again checking whether it is equal to 20. Again, it is not equal. Now it will move on to the next element. Okay, that is error of 5. The position value is error of 5, uh, which is equal to value. Okay, now you are going, uh, the element stored in error of 5 is 20. Okay, and here you can see the element, search element is also 20. So the match is found. Okay, that means you are going to stop the iteration. So you are not going to proceed further because there is no point of uh, uh, going further and searching for the number because it has already been found. So you are going to stop the iteration and then you are going to display the, that uh, the search is successful. So the same thing you are going to see in BlueJ as a Java program. Now in BlueJ, uh, we have created a program. So you can see the first line import java.util.scanner. Uh, so that means you are going to include the scanner class which is available in Java util package into the program. Then you got a class name, public class, linear search. So that is the uh, class title which is given. And then you got public static void main function where you are going to uh, type the program. So you can see the uh, scanner, uh, since the scanner class is included, you are going to get the input from the user through scanner object. So scanner is equal to new scanner system.in. Uh, this will create a scanner object. Okay. And then you got uh, some uh, variables available. So first one is the array variable. Here you are declaring the array as well as you are defining the array. You are going to give the uh, values immediately okay it is just assigning the values directly into the array so you can see int arr open and close square bracket so you don't have any value inside this equal to uh, inside the curly braces you are going to type the list of values it can be 10 it can be 5 it can be 15 any number of values 
separated by comma. So every value should be separated by comma. Since it is an open array, according to the number of elements, it will fix the array uh, memory, that is uh, size of the array. Next, you have an integer variable called value where you are going to search. You are going to give a number to be searched. Okay, That number will be stored in value. You are going to compare it with the array elements. Then you have an boolean variable result which is defined as false for the first time okay here uh, what you're going to do is you're going to search for the elements in the loop okay so once you uh, find the match this result value will change into true so that once you break that uh, iteration break that loop and comes out you're going to immediately check the result value whether it is true or false if it is true that means it knows that the match has been found okay uh, suppose if the match is not found then it goes on till the end without changing the result value. So the by default the result value is false. It stays like that. So if, if it is false, then you can display that uh, the result that is uh, the match not found. Okay, that's the reason you have used that. Use this variable. Now uh, before uh, since you are already defined the values inside the array, you don't know what are the values available. So you are going to display it on the screen. So this steps will display it on the screen. So you can see the array elements are then the loop for i and t i equal to 0 semicolon i lesser than arr, arr dot length so this will length will return the length of the array as i told you uh, you may enter uh, 5 values 10 values or 15 values accordingly the length also will be fixed and you, once you execute loop according to the array length it will execute the uh, loop statement so the number of iteration will increase or decrease according to the length of the array then i plus plus will go on to the next element now you are going to use system out printer uh, print because you want to print it in the, in the same row itself so you can use print statement error of i plus space in between so if you want to have uh, space in between the numbers you can uh, insert um, uh, blank space there okay next is you are going to insert a number that is uh, accept a number to be searched so enter a value to be searched will be there you can see a slash in in front because here you are using print statement. So after the last value is print, the cursor will be staying in the same line. So to bring it down to the next line, so that this message will be displayed in the next line. So the reason for using this slash in is to bring the cursor down to the new line, so that it will uh, print the message in the next line. Now uh, the input statement value equal to se dot next int will store the value in uh, that is whatever number you are uh, entering into the variable value. That is the value you are going to search for. Now the important part is you are going to search it here. You can see loop statement. So for i, I int i equal to 0, i lesser than error of length i plus plus. The same statements are used here because you are going to start from the first element to the last element. You may not know where is the ele exact element is found. So you will start from the first and go on to the, to the till the last. Now if the error of i, I is equal to equal to value so here you're going to check whether the first element so error of i is for, for the first time it is zero so error of zero is equal to equal to value so you're going to check the first element with the element you entered so if it is true then you're going to immediately stop okay result equal to true and break if it is false it won't enter this part it goes on to the next iteration if the condition is true automatically it enters the if statement and then it will change that result value as true and then immediately stop the execution of the loop now after the execution has been completed okay sometimes the uh, array element is found that is matches will be found at the beginning of the loop itself or sometimes in between the loop uh, in between uh, the loop or at the end okay so it depends upon the value you enter okay so you have the complexity okay see the uh, best case is beginning average case in the middle worst case in the last so that's the reason that this uh, linear search is not so popular because it starts from the beginning if if the number is found at the last uh, end of the array then it will take lot of time to reach to that point and then uh, display the result say so if uh, for example if you are going to search for an uh, result okay 10 standard result uh, your number may be at the end you may be entering the uh, unique id or the register number it's uh, if you use this linear search technique it starts from the first element first uh, register number and it will compare with your register number and it goes on if your register number is the last register number they will you can uh, 
you can understand the time taken to uh, get your results right so so this uh, linear search is not so popular because of this okay and now uh, you're going to uh, coming to the program you're going to check whether the result is true okay if the result is true you're going to just print the search is successful element is found else and the search is unsuccessful element not found okay this is what the program is you're going to compile this program no syntax errors so you're going to execute the program so you're going to execute it so uh, void main method call uh, message box appears click ok now uh, as we define the all already defined the values for the array you are just displaying the list of elements available so we will stick with the same value so you just put 20 okay and you are going to press enter you can see search successful element element is found so we will give some other value So I am going to give uh, 7 here. Now you can see search successful. But uh, since it is only a small array, uh, it may, you may not find it a difference in the complexity. Right? The, the match found complexity. If it is 1 lakh or 2 lakhs or 5 lakhs uh, data, then it automatically takes some time to reach to that value. Okay. So you are going to check it again. Now, in the, this time, I am not going to give the value which is available. So, I am going to give some, some other value which is not available. Say, I am giving 35. Now, you can see uh, search is unsuccessful. Element is not found. So, this is what the program is all about. Hope you understood this video. Uh, we will meet you in the next video. Till then, thank you.